And the question was, I've got seowriting.ai, I've got Neuron Writer. What do I do to take my seowriting.ai document, take it into Neuron Writer, and then what are some tricks to optimize my score? What should I really be looking at to build up that optimization score as easily as possible? I wrote an article, What Are the Pros and Cons of Electric Cars? It's here in seowriting.ai. I'm going to assume that you know how to create a content query in Neuron Writer because you need to do that to get the SEO keywords and phrases to tell SEO writing what to put in the document. We're going to copy this and pull it over into Neuron Writer and see what kind of SEO optimization score we have. So we'll copy, go back to Neuron Writer, drop it in. Immediately, you're going to see a score of 47. This is after SEO writing has used these basic and extended terms in the article. Any of the basic terms and extended terms that you see in gray, those are opportunities where you might add those key terms and phrases into this article and boost the score. Now, the one thing you always want to do is you want to put in a title that is going to make a difference in your optimization score. We'll generate one here. So here it is, the pros and cons of electric cars, key advantages and disadvantages. So we'll just save and close. Now by adding that title, right, the title is a big piece of on-page SEO. So it's boosted it to a 65. Now let's take a look at what the scoring is here. So 77. So the highest of all the selected competitors in your content query has an SEO optimization score of 77. Now the top 10 that are appearing in Google have an average optimization score of 60. So you're at a 65. You're already above the average but I think there's plenty of opportunities for you to boost the score and take it up to a 77 or get it really close to a 77. The first thing that we need to do is think about what are, what are the quickest ways to do this? So I'm gonna show you the absolute fastest way to optimize a document in Neuron Writer, and that's to use the FAQ with unused terms. Now, here's the one thing that I want to point out. This will be available to you if you are in like the gold plan or higher. So if you're in the bronze or the silver plan, you won't have FAQ with unused terms available to you because that happens to be an advanced AI template. And so that's the thing that you want to be aware of. We'll go ahead, we'll go into the AI writing section. We'll go to the advanced template section and we'll go here, FAQ with unused terms. So we're gonna pick that and it shows you terms that it's going to try to use in this FAQ. You can pick a language model if you want to. I'm just gonna stick with the default for now. I'm going to enter a tone of voice because I wrote that article in a friendly tone of voice in uh, SEO writing. So I'm just gonna pick informal and then I'm gonna say write for me. So what it's gonna go through, it's gonna create this FAQ section, and we'll see where the score goes. So remember, we're at a 65 right now. We'll say right for me, and then we'll see what score we get here in a second. Okay, as you can see right here, it's added this frequently asked question section. Now, the only thing I don't like about the way that this gets formatted, it leaves these questions as H2s, and really, you know, frequently asked questions is the H2. These need to be changed to H3s. So I'll do that. And then we'll look at the score. Changing these to H3s might affect the score slightly. Well, here we go. I changed everything to an H3 that was a question. And you can see right now that our score is a 79 and 77 is the highest of all competitors. So by using that particular feature, that's an advanced AI writing template, frequently asked questions with unused terms. You can immediately boost your score quite a bit. That's the fastest way to boost your score. It's the easy way to do it and the least time consuming. You would just have to be purchased into Neuron Writer at a gold plan or better. And so that's something to think about if you're watching this video and you've never purchased Neuron Writer and you're thinking about buying it. Uh, having access to the advanced AI templates can be a nice thing. It's not necessary, but then you just don't get the full functionality of the tool. I'm going to go ahead and delete this section and talk about how we would optimize when you 
don't use the FAQ with unused terms. Let's go back. So we're at a 65. Here's what I would do first. I would go in, I look at these terms, and the very first thing that I want to see is in this basic term section, are there any terms here that haven't been used? And the reason I do that is the basic terms will boost your score faster than the extended terms. Typically what I found is you need to use one basic term to boost your score a point, maybe two, but on the extended terms, you might need to use two to four to boost your score a point. So if I'm gonna take the time to read through my document and figure out where to add these terms, I'm definitely going to focus on the basic ones first, then look at the extended terms secondarily as I optimize the article. Now, I'm not going to make you watch me go through and figure out exactly where I put each term and write each sentence and do all that. I mean, you know your niche and you would know how to take these basic terms and add them into your document. But let's just put them in here so you can get an idea of the score and how it changes. So notice gas-powered car has not been used. When I add gas-powered car, notice the score is a 66. It went up a point. Here it says buy an electric car. That hasn't been used, and that will probably boost it a point. It does, so it's at a 67. It's really important that you use these terms and you get them in the green. So you can see, you know, just by adding a basic term, you add a point, and that got us from a 65 to a 67 with two terms. Now, let's say we go to these extended terms, and let's see how many it takes before we get boosted a point. So the first one I'm going to use is this conventional vehicles. Then I'm going to do charging an electric car, and then I'm going to say everything you need to know. That hasn't been used. So three terms yielded a two-point score differential. So that's pretty good. Typically what I see is one point for three extended terms. So it may vary depending on the document and how important those terms are to the document. But that's not bad. So you can see here there's a ton of extended terms that haven't been used. Those are all potential places to further optimize this document and boost that score up to the 77. I have no doubt that I could easily go in and add these terms throughout the document and get this really close to a 77 without any problem. Now, the one thing that I do want to mention is look at your headings. We have an H1. We're not really going to try to stuff any more terms into this H1 title. It's pretty well optimized as it is. When you look at your H2 and H3 terms, you'll see a lot of gray here. So there's a few ways that you can do this. You can see if there's ways to take any of these gray terms and add them to a pre-existing H2, or you can just make a brand new section and use the H2 and then write out that content yourself. So for example, let's say you wanted to add a section on plug-in hybrid vehicle, right? Or hybrid electric vehicle. Let's say we did this, make it an H2. And once we've done that, then we could add some content underneath that. Now, the one thing I wanted to point out is we were at a 68, and that jumped to a 71 when I used that H2 term. So my suggestion is to first look at the basic terms, try to add those into the document. Anything that's unused, try to add those. Then go into the headings and see, can I add a new section with a new H2 that hasn't been used, or can I go in and edit any of the H2s and add the unused H2 terms. That's where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. Again, the frequently asked questions trick that I showed you with that advanced AI template, that certainly is a way that you can go, but you wanna just make sure your document deserves an FAQ. Some documents don't really need a frequently asked question section. This is a fairly technical topic, so Having an FAQ isn't out of place. These are all the places where you can take your seowriting.ai document or a document that was written in another AI writer, for example, pull it into Neuron Writer, and then optimize it as fully as you can, just so you can take advantage of every on-page SEO optimization capability available in the tool. If you have any questions about how to use SEOwriting.ai more effectively or how to use Neuron Writer more effectively, 
make sure and leave those questions in the comments. I want to try to answer as many questions as I can. So until next time, take care.